Live. News 8's Good Morning Connecticut starts now. Vote 2016, the presidential race heats up ahead of our state's primary, and today marks a very important deadline if you want to vote next Tuesday. And back to business, the DMV is fixing statewide computer issues. The agency is hoping that you can get through the lines today. It is 6 a.m. on this Thursday morning. Thanks for spending this part of your day with us. I'm Brian Spiros. Keith Coons has the day off. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. So happy you're with us. Did you get outside yesterday? It was beautiful. It's Gorgeous best. day. Such a nice week. And now we're hearing it's going to be even better today. A Let's repeat. Get you started with Chief Meteorologist Gil Simmons this morning. Yeah, good morning. We're actually going to turn the heat up outside a little bit more than yesterday. And uh, you wouldn't know it getting outside over the next couple of hours and that is the biggest deal. We do have a chill out there, but no rain close to home with our storm track radar showing dry conditions through Pennsylvania. But check out the rain off to our west. It is between Chicago and Connecticut, so you know what that means. Eventually it will catch up with us and that happens for tomorrow. We'll talk about that with the big forecast right around 615. Scattered chill is the best way to sum it up out there. We have spots that are in the 30s, also some 40s. It's worthy of a jacket this morning, but Teresa so by lunchtime, we're talking 62 to 66. Not bad. And going higher through the afternoon. I think we'll take it, Gil. All right. Not so bad there. And I have a hunch you're going to enjoy the ride to work this morning. We are dealing with a little bit of vacation week, so we're not seeing the congestion like we uh, normally do. You'll see here by Long Wharf, everything seems to be moving uh, pretty nicely there. We'll advance the camera and take you to I-91. This is by exit three, the spot of some overnight construction, but no longer uh, any issues there. And Madison, good Good morning to you. The sun is coming up. The roadways are clear and just a few commuters are out and about here by exit 60. Trains and planes are running on or close to schedule. We're not dealing with any issues there. And then uh, just take a peek here in the Brass City. Do expect midday construction, but right now smooth sailing. If you're making that drive to New York City, we'll talk about that coming up shortly. Check the cameras at WTNH.com. Laura, on over to you. All right, Teresa, thank you. In our vote 2016 coverage this morning, the campaign trail is coming to our state today. Democratic President Presidential candidate Hillary Clinton will be here this morning in our next half hour. News 8's Kent Pierce will be live for us in Hartford. He's going to preview the former Secretary of State's campaign stop, including what she's expected to discuss. Well, we've already seen two other presidential candidates hold campaign events here in the Constitution State. Donald Trump rallying in Hartford. Governor John Kasich holding an event in Fairfield, and it looks like they'll circle back to Connecticut before our state's primary next Tuesday. In the next half hour of Good Morning Connecticut, when and where, and what about Senators Ted Cruz and Bernie Sanders? That's coming up. Laura? All right, Brian, if you want to vote in the Connecticut primary, your time to register is almost up. Today is the deadline to get your vote registered, to get all registered, either by mail or online. You have until Monday, April 25th at noon to do so in person. People in our state are registering to vote in record numbers. Secretary of State Denise Merrill says more than 76,000 people registered between January 1st and April 18th. The majority of them, more than and 36,000 want to cast their ballot as a Democrat, more than 23,000 registered as unaffiliated, and nearly 17,000 registered as Republicans. Now remember, if you are unaffiliated, you cannot vote in next Tuesday's presidential primary. Republican frontrunner Donald Trump will make big changes to his campaign in the coming weeks, including delivered scripted policy speeches. The leading Democrat Hillary Clinton is now focusing on the general election. Here's ABC's Bazi Kanani. Hillary Clinton turns her focus to the general election, attacking her potential Republican challengers rhetoric. I mean, what they say is not only offensive, it's downright dangerous. After her double-digit New York blowout, Clinton could now lose all the remaining primaries by wide margins and still have enough delegates to win the nomination. She's now appealing for party unity. To all the people who supported Senator Sanders, I believe there is much more that unites us than divides us. But Bernie Sanders says not so fast. 
We believe we have the momentum and we believe we have a path toward victory. Clinton emerges bruised from the tough New York primary fight, Republicans pouncing. You know what Bernie Sanders said about her twice? He said bad judgment. She's got bad judgment. We are going to beat her so badly. Donald Trump also promises to clinch the nomination after winning nearly all of New York's delegates, now calling on Ted Cruz to drop out. But Cruz balks. Upon winning his home state, Donald, with a characteristic display of humility, <laughs> declared this race is over. This morning, it's Hillary Clinton's turn to appear in a live town hall on Good Morning America, taking questions from voters across the country. Bazi Kanani, ABC News, Washington. And News 8 is your home for continuing coverage of Vote 2016. We've got your back from the presidential primary in Connecticut all the way through the general election in November. Brian. Laura, the DMV will be back and fully operational today after problems with its computer system. The new multi-million dollar computer system shut down statewide on Tuesday, causing long lines and some people getting turned away altogether. Anyone whose license or registration expired between Sunday and Wednesday will have until midnight tonight to get it renewed. The Hartford Current is reporting that the U.S. Department of Justice is investigating our state's motor voter program for not following federal law. The paper says the DOJ has notified state officials about a lawsuit against the state of Connecticut because of what they found. Now, if you're not familiar with the motor voter program, it allows people to sign up to vote while taking care of business at the DMV. An agreement is likely to be revealed today between Volkswagen and the U.S. government over the automaker's emissions cheating scandal. A source familiar with the deal says VW will spend more than $1 billion to pay car owners who have a diesel-powered car that cheat on emissions tests. It is unclear how much money each driver will get. The source says today's agreement will not include plans to fix those cars. It's now 6.07. New numbers show the state budget is still in pretty bad shape. The current fiscal year's general fund is still more than $141 million in the hole. That deficit less than a month after the passage of a bipartisan plan to fix the problem. Governor Dana Malloy's budget director blames lower than anticipated state revenues. A letter sent to the state comptroller points the finger at the state corporation tax, which fell short of what Malloy's administration had projected. And hopefully you'll have the chance to get outside today. Yeah, Anything. it is definitely recommended. It's going to be beautiful. The problem is early on this morning. We do have a little chill right in New Haven at 38 degrees. Here's some good news, though. If you're flying out of any of the New York City airports, good to go down there. 50 degrees down around New York City. Less wind today compared to the last couple of days. Also out of uh, Boston or even TF Green over here at Providence. 40 degrees now, no weather issues. Even here locally at Bradley International, you will be fine. All right, our temperature's chilly this morning, and that means for the kids that maybe had vacation last week and are going to school this week, it's worthy of a jacket alert out there this morning. But for the middle of the day and recess time, teachers and students can get outside. Look at these temperatures, 62 for the shoreline, 66 or so inland, and they're gonna continue to warm up through 3 to 4 p.m. this afternoon. I'm to show you the detailed forecast for today and also this talk of a little rain for tomorrow into early Saturday. We'll run the hour by hour forecast, Teresa. It doesn't look like much, but there could be a thunderstorm, and I'll show you that coming up. All right, we'll be prepared, Gil. Thank you. And be prepared for a lovely day to go for a drive or head out to work, wherever your destination might be. We're not seeing a lot of volume out there on the roadways. The map is quiet, and I don't want to jinx it, but there are still no accidents. So let's just take a quick tour around the state. We're we're going to start off here in New Haven. We're making the drive up to the capital city. That is a 38 minute drive and that's looking pretty nice. But keep in mind, once you are in Hartford this morning, we have the Hillary Clinton rally up in the north end. So a portion of Albany Ave is going to be blocked. Homestead is going to be your alternate route for you there. Meanwhile, Hartford to Waterbury. That's uh, the ride along the westbound side of 84 at 33 minutes. That's looking pretty nice as well. And then uh, 
uh, not so bad here. Norwich to the capital city if you travel along Route 2. And then still not a bad time to leave to head to New York City from the Elm City. It'll take you 84 minutes. And that's just a little bit of stop and go as you cross over the state line. A live look outside here in Stratford. If you leave uh, the greater New Haven area heading south, you'll travel right through here with a little bit of company, but at the speed limit and a gorgeous shot here by Long Wharf. Check the cameras over at WTNH.com. Brian and Laura, back to you. Teresa, thank you. Your grocery bill is probably high enough. I think we can all agree on that. Right. Well, don't make it worse. We've got your back this morning with how to save money at the grocery store, and it involves leaving some items on the shelf. All right, it's now 10 minutes after 6. If you're just getting up and going this morning, we hope you have a great day wherever you're waking up. East Lime, East Haddam, East Haven. All the East <laughs> right now. Good morning to all of our viewers in New London. Here's a live look outside in your backyard this morning. We are coming right back after a short break. Don't go away.